Parents, have you ever been told by a child's practitioner or their doctor, or pediatrician, what have you, that you shouldn't worry, they'll grow out of it. They'll grow out of the ear infections, they'll grow out of the biting, they'll grow out of the tantrums, they'll grow out of the constipation, the colic. Don't worry about it. Let's just wait and see what happens. I'm here to tell you that's a little bull. I hate that approach. It kills me. And what we often see is instead of growing out of all that stuff, we see growing into things like sensory processing disorder and hyperactivity, further behavioral problems, anxiety, depression. It becomes a linear transgression that changes over time and it doesn't get better on its own. So if your mom or dad gut is telling you to look a little bit deeper, to pursue a little bit more, and not just sit idly on the sideline while your child is going through an internal nervous system crisis, this is for you. If you or someone has known all along that there's probably a little bit more going on, then please get, help get this message out. Share it to some friends, like it, comment, throw some emojis at me. Let me know you're here. Today, we're going to be talking about some of the common conditions showing up in infants and toddlers that continue to show up later on down in life, but they're just, they look a little bit different. They're labeled as a different thing. They're diagnosed as something different by the medical system so they can avoid getting to the root cause of what's going on. Because I tell you what, for every single condition, there are about 13, 15, 20 different medications. And with every single one of those medications comes a nice side effect that you usually fix another medication for. So if you're looking for a inside out natural healing approach for your kids, stay tuned. Let's talk this. It is an all too common thing that we see in our practice again and again. Parents have concerns over their child's colic, their constipation, their constant ear infections, their sensory issues, their meltdowns. They get worse and worse. Motor delays seen by their pediatrician as normal or no big deal. They'll catch up. It's a month late. It's six months late. They're really strong. They walk before they crawl. Red flag. If your mom and dad gut is telling you something's going on, this is for you. This is 100% for you. So while it's really easy to say, book her out of it, what does that get us? I think it's a whole lot. They won't necessarily grow out of colic or ear infections or tantrums or meltdowns and, and not always going to throwing medication in or throwing some tubes in the ears or cutting out the adenoids, cutting out the tonsils or the fix that your child really needs. Do they change the state of the child? Sure. Do you have to go to that length? Not always. And so if your gut tells you something different, let me tell you a secret. You're probably right. What we see very often, like I said, in practice is if children start with some of the smaller things, that colic, constipation, crying all the time, sensory changes, primitive reflexes sticking around, those cases are often the history of kids that come in 10, 11, 12, 15 years old who are anxious all the time, who are super stressed out, who lash out, have trouble paying attention. We often find that the number one issue, putting all these things together, is an underperforming and overstressed and an overstimulated, that sympathetic fight or flight response, central nervous system. When we've got these neurological issues, being down on that child system day in, day out, that central nervous system is overloaded. That sympathetic nervous system is firing on all fronts. We are in a fight or flight mode all the time. There is no time for that parasympathetic nervous system to function like it should. And so digestion slows down, gum motility slows down, constipation comes up, the immune system is depressed, we get neuromuscular tension. And we can get in coordination and the messages that are being interpreted from sensory all around us, processed in the brain, and then sent out in terms of motor and developmental delays. This neurological tension, it doesn't just magically go away. We can't spread pixie dust on it. We can't crush up and spread Ritalin on it or any of the, the new Ritalin, the stimulant, the stimulant. You want to give your kid Ritalin? You want to give your cocaine? You go to jail for one, but not the other? Okay. Maybe I'm overstepping. These neurological challenges, they don't magically go away later on in life. They just look differently. And unfortunately, 
it's an easy case to say, ah, look, grow out of it. Try this, try that. We'll check next time. These things tend to go away. And yeah, the colic might go away. The constipation might change to something else, but that's just the thing. Is it going away or is it coming out as something else? So if your child's having a challenge, if they are very young, if they're weeks, months, days old, and you're starting to see something crop up and your doctor says, ah, don't worry about it. And you and your heart of hearts feel that you want to have a little bit more of an answer. Or if you're dealing with a stressed teen who's overwhelmed, who's having trouble in school, who you know is very bright and very amazing, a great kid, but they're not the kid. They don't have that fire burning inside them. It's dampened down. If you know other, either of these kids, if you have these kids, if you are related to or friends with families of these kids, give us a call. Hop on our website. We have an area where you can get a consultation, 15 minutes on the phone for free. I am not selling anything. I am giving my time away, helping families find some answers here. When looking through the neurological implications of subluxation with the nervous system, and we can detect, we can quantify, we can locate what parts of their nervous system are not functioning efficiently, we can come up with a plan to help these guys or girls, kids. If you are not in South Florida, we take care of people from she's Orlando to, uh, to the Keys. We are pretty widespread right now. But if you're not in South Florida, get in touch with me. I work with a network of doctors who practice this way with neurologically focused pediatric chiropractic, and we do some really cool stuff. So please, if you can share this, comment here, ask me questions, hop on a phone call with me. Let me help you. Let me help your kids. You got some information below if you want a little bit more reading. So check that out. I'm here to help. I'll talk to you soon.